Well, if you live in one of the larger cities in East Texas, you likely have a high-speed internet connection. But for those that live in the more rural parts of our area, internet connectivity is a challenge, one made worse by the pandemic and everything moving online. Tonight, how one business is planning to bring broadband internet service to underserved East Texans. Finding a reliable way to stay connected in rural East Texas is a huge challenge. Internet providers are few and far between, and for many, traditional broadband service isn't even an option. Cable company Charter is expanding to the area as part of a deal that includes over a half million dollar investment in East Texas. It's a major expansion in East Texas and is part funded by Charter to the tune of $400 million and another $186 million courtesy of the FCC's RDOF. The $186 million from the FCC is part of the Rural Digital Opportunity Fund, which works to bridge the divide between internet connectivity in cities and rural areas. Brian Anderson, Senior Director of Communications with Charter, says the goal is to expand services to underserved cities and towns. The need for expanded broadband throughout the state of Texas has been crystal clear. And so this is an opportunity now for Charter to be able to act in conjunction with the FCC and help bring these services to uh, communities that have suffered over the last year without having the same capabilities as, uh, as folks in other areas of the state. So what this means for rural East Texas is the launch will give people choice. People who are all too familiar with using satellite internet or wireless hotspots to stay connected. Charter plans to offer internet speeds of up to one gigabit per second. This is really about the folks that have no options uh, in, in the way of getting broadband services. That is really the, at the core of this project. An important thing to remember is these projects take time. Charter has to get permits from the cities and counties they're building in, and just the act of laying the cable across hundreds of miles is time consuming. We anticipate construction beginning in late late 2021 and then we expect for all of the construction to be completed within a six-year period. Okay. So we will be able to offer these services by say 2027. You can keep up with the construction progress at SpectrumRuralExpansion.com. And don't forget if you have questions about how businesses are faring in East Texas during COVID-19, we'd love to hear from you. Email me anytime at abaker at cbs19.tv.